Welcome back. Today is microscope day. So I've got my trusty microscope. So I have a lens adapter so and we can take a look together at hair under a microscope. Not just any hair under a microscope, but specifically our 20 volume and 130 volume test swatches. If you caught that video, we saw the difference between the lift of 20 volume for one hour and 130 volume for one hour. And you can see by these swatches, yeah, there's a little bit of difference. Is it worth it? When you lighten hair, the outer structure of the hair, the cuticle, uh, opens up, swells, and only a certain amount of that swelling can really go back down. So what are we doing to the hair? Is it really as awful as everyone says it is? One of my favorite things about being a hairstylist, and I don't know, really anything that I do, is just the sense of play and under, like, being able to, to, to look at things and examine things and figure out how they work. So I wanna look at this hair under a microscope, compare it to some untreated hair, and see how that cuticle, how the hair looks under a microscope after being treated with 20 and 130. Before we get going, I just wanna say thanks for watching. Uh, it really, it means a lot to me. If you enjoy my videos, uh, please give them a thumbs up, a comment. It really helps other people discover the videos. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It uh, really helps me out, makes me feel good. Uh, I'm on the road to my first thousand subscribers. They say that first thousand is the hardest. If you could help me out in getting there, that would be amazing. Without further ado, come take a look. So this is the virgin hair. And something to know about microscopes is you get a very shallow depth of field. So I'm gonna be paging through some different views. We can try to get a good look around the hair strand itself. Our field of view is about the thickness of a cuticle. So we've got to play with some, uh, some different views. In this first picture, there's one strand that what looks like a shadow in the background is actually a second strand. That's how shallow the, the depth of field is. And you can see up on the outer edges here how you can see the individual cuticle layers and they are, you know, already a little bit raised. They're not going to be perfectly flat. Let's check out another one. And you can see right in here in the center of the strand where it's brightest, those individual cuticle layers, which are see-through. So what we're doing is we're seeing through those into the pigment of the hair, which is contained in the cortex. If I page through, let's find another one with a little bit more contrast. We can see clearly the top layer of the cuticle and those little ridges, it's pretty flat. If this were, if these cuticles were more raised, they would be more visible. Here's another one where we can see the side profile a little bit more, and you can definitely see the little ridges where that, where that cuticle's already raised a little bit, which is pretty normal. Now let's take a look at a selected strand or two from the 20 volume. In this one, I've got a nice little air bubble. <laughs> where you can see the, uh, that's actually um, glycerin under the slide. That's just how it was prepped. This wasn't actually on the hair. Something really interesting, you can see where a piece of the cuticle is lifted and falling off. And you can see along this side profile how the cuticle is visibly lifted a little bit more than that virgin hair. Uh, if anything, maybe it's similar. It's, it, it, it's raised a, a similar amount. Still having a difficult time seeing the separation between the cuticle layers, which means they're still fairly tight. But definitely you can see through that little cuticle portion there. There's an even better view and really can see the, um, the separation. Still not raised too, too much. The fact that the cuticle is not super duper visible lets me know that it's all laying down fairly flat and smooth. Now let's go to our 130 volume. Definitely there's breaking cuticle here, peeling off here and really raised here. The fact that even just in this photo, I can see the cuticle far more visibly means that that hair is more swollen. When that hair is more swollen, when that cuticle is more raised, hair acts like Velcro. That's where, that is where tangles come from is the raised cuticles all lock in with each other and you've got to brush them out. The more force you apply when those cuticles are locked together, you're going to end up getting little peeled away pieces of cuticle like this, which ends up making the problem even worse. Here's one where we can see the surface of the hair really well and you can see the broken cuticles have gone out of focus a little. 
the fact that the cuticle is so much more visible. Not only is this hair, obviously, it is lighter. The fact that I can really see individually all of this cuticle, all of these layers, really lets me know that we've, we have incurred some lasting damage on this hair. All right, well, I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't know if we really need to make a longer video than that. That was fun for me. So my conclusion, yeah, that, that cuticle, I feel like I can see a clear difference between hair lifted with 20 volume and the hair lifted with 130 volume. And I can see less of a difference between the virgin hair and the hair that was lightened with 20 volume. Those two, the cuticle structure seems really similar, both kind of equally hard to see, which means they're tight and compact. The 130 is super visible and you can even feel it on the hair strand themselves. This feels smoother. This feels notably rougher. The more times you do it, the longer you do it, the worse off you're going to be. I'm going to stick to the slow stuff. I think that I'll probably be using the microscope uh, more often to, to examine some things on a, on a more microscopic level so we can kind of see the results of some of, some of our explorations. Uh, let me know what you think. What else should I look at under the microscope? Hair related. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like what you saw and you want to see some more, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. Feel free to share with any of your nerdy friends. Click the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Let me know what else you want to hear about. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time.